What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back. Today's video is brought to you guys by Ice Cream Apps. Now, they're called that because they make some very uh, tasty apps, apparently. Well, you can't exactly eat it, but they do have this one app called PDF Candy. Go ahead and check it out. I don't know if it actually tastes good. Nonetheless, they also have a variety of other applications from screen recorders to slideshow makers to password managers. But what we're taking a look at right here is, of course, a PDF editor. Now, as you guys can see, this supports Windows 10. We have all these different options. There's a full-on video explaining how it works, but you guys could just watch my video. It's a bit easier than clicking that one. And as you guys can see, we can go and manage pages on PDFs, annotate them, add stamps, and even protect things while drawing on them and adding watermarks simultaneously, all while doing it without ever having to pay for anything, which is really, really cool. So. It, what exactly can it do well as you guys can see right here this is the software itself you just download it and it looks exactly like this then of course you can go ahead and open up your own pdf so i'm just gonna use this 2018 audi manual to have a little fun with as you guys can see it looks very nice right now but you know what it doesn't look nice enough so let's take this and customize it to the extreme. Let's say we want to move a page. Well, here we go. We're going to go and move this one over here. We're going to take this one. You know, I'm feeling this one. This will be the first page. This will be the last page just because that's what I'm feeling like right now. Then afterwards, as you can see, we got our hand tool. We also have a selection tool and we have our text tool. You know what? I think we need some more text over here. I'm going to put a bunch of really interesting text. And then afterwards, I'm going to change the font on that text to this giant thing. This looks a lot more accurate. And we're going to make that text blue because why not? But you can also choose from all these interesting colors because well, why not let's make this a little bit bigger let's take it we're gonna go back to the hand tool and we're gonna move our page around jump up and down and then we're gonna use our hand tool to take this and maybe we want to resize it just a little bit you know it's a bit of obnoxious right now so I'm just gonna go ahead and take this maybe make it like that and there you go looks exactly the way it's supposed to be perfect right now what if we go ahead onto here, let's jump onto another page, and let's say we want to add a bunch of notes. You see these little numbers on here? Well, let's cover them up with this cool little text box. We can choose the color of the text box, so let's choose white. That might go with the vibe, and then let's add one right here. Let's add one right here. We'll say what this does, this does, this does, this does, and then let's just cover it in these because why not? It looks so much better, right? And you can change the color of these, so here's some of these. Let's make some purple ones. You know, people, people, people want to see our text boxes. They don't want to see an Audi. Come on. What, what are we here now you can also add descriptions to that and then afterwards you can choose an area to highlight you can choose the text to highlight you can underline something you can place a line through text or you can go ahead and add a squiggle underneath an eyeline uh, underline why not but let's make things a little bit more interesting let's say we think this audi looks really ugly and we want to cover it up well, let's add a box right here and there you go giant box oh wait we can still see the audi i don't like it let's go and fill this up and make the opacity 100 percent but you know what, our box is kind of in the way, so let's resize this just a little bit, and there you go, we no longer have to see this ugly Audi. Just kidding, that Audi's not ugly at all. So let's bring the transparency all the way down to here, and just add a little bit of a drop shadow, you know, it kind of actually looks like it's meant to be there. How cool does that look? So, next off, let's say, let's see some, let's see a spot over here that needs a circle. Maybe we want to take this and we want to add a circle over here. So, I'm going to go and add a circle on that one, add a circle on that one. I don't like the color. Let's use that one. Let's change the color of this one to white. Perfect. Let's add a few more circles because I'm, I don't know why. Why not? Cool, right? Next off, let's say we are on another page and we really want to point to something or we want to cross something else. So let's add a bunch of lines over here. How cool is that? And then let's change our line color up. So now we have this color and then let's get some red ones in here because you really shouldn't be reading this, right? And then what if we really need to point to something? Uh-oh. There you go. We really need to point to something, right? Let's say we want to point to these images. Well, here we hit the arrow and just like that, we can have a bunch of arrows point directly to that. Do you see how seamless and easy this is? Everything I just want just magically happens. That's how cool it is. But my favorite favorite part is of course being able to just draw seamlessly so let's say we want to draw like a smiley face well there you go there's a full-on smiley face right there and uh, you can give it some buck teeth and there you go I mean obviously this is taking things to the extreme but you know, go wild do whatever you want and uh oh it doesn't look nice anymore what if we want to erase some things well there you go very very easy and now we're back to just seeing our arrows and everything seems just a little bit cleaner and last but not least, let's make this document official. Let's put a disclaimer because uh, I don't know why. Don't crash your car, I guess. And then we're going to add some withdraw notices. And then afterwards, I'm just going to jump onto this page because, you know, we haven't done anything. Let's say this page is already completed. It looks beautiful. There you go. Completed stamp. And there's a bunch of other ones. Let's just make a forbidden page. This is forbidden. Do not mess with this page. We're just going to put forbidden stamps everywhere. Now, last but not least, you can also go ahead and add some new pages on here. You can select all of them at once. You can add some new tabs. So you can work on multiple PDFs 
PDFs at once. Look how fast it is. It's really seamless. I just accidentally opened up like 20 of them. And then you can go ahead and render this out. So as you can see, all you have to do is just hit File, Save As. Let's go back to the proper tab. And then hit File save as and you can save it as a pdf all in all i have created the world's best audi manual and it only took me around two minutes go ahead and check this out below hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if so leave a like and don't forget to subscribe thank you guys for watching this is going to be me logging off